Hey guys, I'm Oxy, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a styled commando build. This is a beginner guide for new players that want to make the strongest build in Fallout 76. I'm gonna be covering everything in this video from perk cards, also to legendary effects, and where to go and what to get in order to make this build viable. First thing first, let's talk about the weapons. There is three automatic rifles that I do suggest you to get. Now the first one is gonna be the combat rifle. This one, it's really easy to get. I'm gonna show you where to go to get this rifle really early on in the game. The mods that you want on these weapons are gonna be the powerful automatic receiver, a line long barrel, forceful stock, stealing magazine, reflex sight, and obviously suppressor for the stealth purposes. Autos mods are reducing AP cost in VATS. And the next weapon that we want is going to be the Handmade. This is just a classic weapon from the Nuka World DLC ported here in Fallout 76. And the mods that you want for these rifles are Powerful Automatic Receiver, Line Long Barrel, Precise Grip, Stinging Magazine, Reflex Sight and Suppressor. Autos mods again are reducing AP cost in that. And the next one, it's actually the strongest commando weapon in Fallout 76, is the Fixer, Powerful Automatic Receiver, Align Long Barrel, Forceful Stock, Stealing Magazine, Reflex Sight, Circle and Suppressor are the mods that you want for this weapon. Pretty much exactly the same mods that we are using on the combat rifle. Actually, to learn the mods to mod a Fixer, you need to scrap combat rifles. So if you want to have all the mods for the fixer, you just need to scrap uh, combat rifles because you can't scrap a fixer. Now the good thing about the fixer is that it does have an inherent legendary effect, improves stealth, faster, sneak, movement, speed. That's an inherent legendary effect. And also from all the rifles, as you can see, it is the highest damage one. Now in order to get the combat rifle plan, you make your way here to the home right industrial headquarters uh, right uh, here in this uh, region basically at this cross lakeside close to poseidon power plant and to the giant teapot so inside here you're gonna do a little quest called the mother load after you complete that little quest you're gonna get the plan for the combat rifle so you can craft it now for the fixer, there is really two options. The first one is to start the ship squatch quest line, which you can do at any train station with the poster, the ship squatch eat my brother. You can see those in every train station in the game. Now eventually following that quest, it's gonna take you here and you're gonna get to level 50 or a lower level fixer. Depending on your level, you're gonna get a non legendary fixer as the reward now if you want the plan for the fixer to be able to craft it that's gonna be a little bit harder you need to make your way here to the pylon ambush site you're gonna need to have an asaltron keycard which you can buy from any train station and you're gonna need to start the event encrypted that event can drop you the fixer plan it's a rare drop and it's gonna take you a while to farm it but you can only do encrypted after you finish the ship squatch quest line. So you need to finish that quest line in order to get the ability to craft the recall card to start encrypted. Now, if you want the handmade plan, unfortunately, that one is going to cost you caps. So you need to buy that uh, from the White Spring Resort. A lot of people forgot, but inside the White Spring Resort, you can find all the vendors around the map so for example if you want to buy something from the Watuga vendor all the way down here you can just go inside the white spring and buy it from there a lot of players forgot about this and uh, it's just making everything to be much more easier it's gonna cost you some caps but you only need to buy it once now let's talk about armor one of the best early armor that you can get for a stealth commando build it is the Chinese Stealth Armor. 
This one basically have the chameleon legendary effect, but it is improved. You getting also reduced fall damage. You getting a decent ballistic and energy protection, a really good radiation one, and doesn't weigh much. You can get this one through a quest line, which I'm gonna show you where to go and how to complete that in a bit. Now the whole idea about this stealth armor is that does have the chameleon legendary effect but it is improved. For example, right now I'm in the stealth suit, but if I'm moving, I'm still getting the stealth field. If I would use just a full set of chameleon armor set, I would get that stealth field only when I'm standing still. So that stealth field, it's gone as soon as I'm moving. But with this armor set, you always have it. You just need to be crouched. So it's really the best early option for a stat commando build. Now, if you want to go, of course, for a blooded stat commando, you're gonna need unyielding armor. This legendary effect is boosting your stats, accepting endurance, and uh, you want a full matching armor set in order to work with your legendary perks uh, quite well. As a secondary perk, I do suggest you to have AP refresh, and as a third one, you know, Basically anything that is reducing weight, weapon weight reduction would be perfect, or cam weight reduction, food weight reduction. Basically, just to be on yielding AP refresh and the third perk, it's really up to you. But I suggest to have uh, weapon weight reduction. That's the best one because usually stat commando builds, they don't have a lot of strength. So in order to get the Chinese stat armor, you need to make your way to the overseas home which is in Sutton, which is actually really close to Vault 76. Here you can start the Wastelanders questline and you want to follow the questline from uh, the foundation, from the settlers, which is gonna take you here to the foundation and just follow their questline until it's gonna take you right here. In this region, which is really close to the Vice Spring Lookout, really close to the Vice Spring Golf Club, it's going to take you to another location and after you complete the quest line here you're going to come back at foundation and you're going to get as the reward the plans for the chinese stealth armor so really easy to do and don't miss it out if you don't do their quest line you're going to miss it and you're going to need to buy it with gold bullion yes if you don't obtain the chinese stealth armor through the quest line, the only way to obtain it is to buy it with gold bullion and it's really, really expensive. So I suggest you just do the quest line. It's a really good quest line and uh, yeah, have fun with it. Now let's talk about the build. What you need to know about Stealth Commando builds, they have always high perception, high agility, high lock and medium intelligence. They have low endurance, low strength, and usually low charisma. Now, in strength, I usually do a bandolier because we do carry a lot of ammunition for this build. Now, the perception is going to be pretty standard for every commando build. We do have all the commando perks to boost our damage to the maximum. We do have tank killer to do armor penetration. We also do have concentrated fire and grenadier. Now, here really depends what kind of build you are doing. If you are using a bloodied commando build, then you have enough perception and agility to get a really good accuracy in that. So you don't need uh, you don't need here concentrated fire on three. But if you're going for a full health stealth commando build, I suggest you to use concentrated fire on three. Just just try it, see how it it is feeling, and uh, you're gonna decide it. Now, why we have grenadier here? It's because we have some explosive legendary perks and Grenadier is making the effect radius of those explosions to be much more bigger. So basically you get a bigger boom. Now in Endurance I usually have Fireproof which is just to avoid explosive damage and also flame damage. It's quite useful perk and uh, I suggest to have it in uh, any type of stealth commando build, either full health or low health. The charisma is going to be pretty standard. I usually always have uh, strange numbers to share the good side of the mutations and uh, tenderizer to get some extra damage. 
in intelligence I do have here Nerd Rage because I'm low health and I have Demolition Expert. So Demolition Expert if you're using any type of explosive command weapon to get more damage and uh, if you don't want to use Nerd Rage you could use something else such as First Aid to make your steam packs to heal you much more. Agility it's also pretty standard at every command build. We do have Action Gear, Sneak obviously because you want to sneak. Escape Artist this is a must have for enemies to lose you when you are in stealth when you are just crouching down, running away, crouch down and you escaped. We do have Gonfu and Adrenaline. Now Gonfu and Adrenaline are just for some extra damage. Obviously you can use also Cover Operative to get more sneak attack damage. This perk is not as useful when you are doing huge events like the Scorch Beast Queen or uh, or Williams, those uh, big boss fights, sometimes you're just not getting the extra style damage, so I use this perk card much more when I'm trying to solo things or when I'm playing solo, but when there is a bunch of players all around me, it's not really worth it, to be honest. And in lock, it's pretty standard, again, we do a bloody mess for more damage, Tormentor to cripple uh, the Scorch Beast Wing, this is really useful in the Scorch Beast Queen fight. We do have better criticals to do more damage with our criticals, serendipity because we are low health, strange genes to keep our mutations and better critical for more damage. Here you can switch up serendipity for something else that you think would be useful for your build. And uh, let's look at the legendary perks. Now, the important ones are gonna be obviously follow through. Basically you get more sneak attack damage, which is just perfect, that's what you want. And here's the explosive uh, legendary perk, Far From Firework, right? So with this one you can get a big boom. And in combination with Grenadier it's even a bigger boom. Now here I do have Funky Dude and Sizzling Style because I'm low health and poison and fire damage are quite deadly for me. But you can switch this one off for something else. I do have Legendary Lock and Legendary Intelligence to just boost my stats. So, as you can see, I have here six slots. Now, if you're a new player, you're gonna unlock all the six slots when you're level 300. So, you need to get to level 300 in order to unlock all the slots. When you're gonna start a new character, you're gonna have two slots. And after you're gonna get three, four, five, and six eventually. It's gonna take you some time, but it's really worth it. It's gonna take even a longer time to level up this uh, legendary perk cards because it's quite expensive. Now let's talk about legendary effects on your weapon. So, one of the best one is the quad legendary effect because it's giving you a higher ammo capacity. As the secondary perk, faster fire rate, explosive, vast crit, and as the third perk, faster reload or less AP cost would be perfect. Even reduced weight, it's uh, quite useful because the weapons are uh, quite uh, heavy. Now, why do you want quad? And uh, the reason it's really simple, because you can sustain the fire on your target for much more longer and you can spam more criticals. So a stealth commando build, it's really based on spamming criticals. So you're going to need to have high lock for this build in order to spam those criticals. Now, if you want, uh, you know, just more damage overall, you can use a blooded one, right? So I have here a blooded explosive one, obviously this one is going to do more damage. It's also boosted from Demolition Expert, as you can see the damage is 200, but we only have 25 in one mech, so you're going to reload much more often. But if you're using the quad one, you have 85 in one mech, which is just insane. You can sustain the fire for much more longer. So you can use also blooded with Vatscrit. On a fixer, you can use also anti armor, aristocrat, two shot basically any legendary effect that is giving you more damage overall. And as I said, secondary perks, Vats Crit, explosive bullets, or faster fire rate, third perk always, faster reload, or less AP cost would be perfect. Let's talk about mutations that you need to have for a stealth commando build. Now, since I'm low health, I'm using Adrenal Reaction, which is basically giving me more damage 
if my health is low, but you don't need that if you're a full health stat command to build. I do have bird bones because it's giving us more agility and reduce fall speed. That's quite good. Eagle eye because it's giving us again perception and more crit damage. Herbivore because this one is boosting vegetable buffs, which are the strongest one for a stat commando build. There's a lot of vegetable buffs that are giving you more agility, more crit damage, so on and so forth. So really herbivore is the way to go. Now marsupial and speed demon are standard mutations for any type of build. Marsupial basically to do jump high and get a little bit of extra carry weight and speed demon to reload much more faster. So those are the mutations that uh, suggesting you to have. Again, if you are a full health style commando build, just don't use Adrena Reaction, use Bird Bones, Eagle Eye, Herbivore, Marsupial, and Speed Demon. Those are perfect standard mutations for any type of stealth commando build. And this is it. This is everything that you should know about the stealth commando build. If you're following this guide and my advices, I'm sure you're gonna make a really strong stealth commando build. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one.